you 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 did talk about and let let's jump into it here. You guys are a show that was pre-internet. People wanted to cancel. I remember. I, re- I remember paper articles. There, you, you guys have. A, there's always uh, been kind of been pre-internet. It was not. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm I'm talking pre-Twitter. That that kind of slipped from. Oh, okay, social media. Maybe exactly not. before everything was kind of before the, right. the, whole, the whole cancel culture era. You're right. Um, there's always kind of been controversy around your show and. Yeah. Um, what do you think about everything going on right now? Well, for, I think our show is, is, you know, I think Kenny's behavior, and this isn't a comment on him as a person, but his behavior on the show is, you know, not something you would necessarily want your children to, you know, uh, be like. Come on, fuck you. There's no way you can compete with me, Spencer Nolan Rice. I'm a meat eating machine, I'm a meat factory, and you are nothing. And that was, you know, that's kind of who he is and he has fun with it. And, you know, that's not his total personality. Um, uh, I'm sorry, question again? I don't know, no problem, man. My wife's like vacuuming. She picked now. She knows I'm doing this, so she's upstairs vacuuming. Hey, Anyways, not, not a problem at all. I, I was just wanted to get your opinions on cancel culture, being from a show oh, yeah, with so much controversy. So, 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 well, my feelings are that so much uh, – is misplaced and un, unthought through by people. Mm-hmm. And I think that, be, and this is where I sound pretentious, but I think it's because people are intellectually lazy and they don't read and they don't learn history and they don't, you know, the cherry pick wisdom. They, they, mm-hmm. they seem to want to go on one, one, one uh, idea or one person and then ride all the way with that, which is absurd. Uh, there's so much truth out there in different forms and, and so many things that make sense. So, uh, I think with cancer, cancel culture, it, it fundamentally does boil down to intent. Yeah. Um, and if you want to get offended, uh, that's your right. And this is where things are right now. But I would like to see people become a little bit more discerning about the intent. You know, it, like Kenny has done some things on our shows, particularly that didn't make the cut or we've shown in the live show that, you know, are uns- or, or let's just use me as an example. I wore the Ku Klux Klan outfit in, in, in one of the episodes, uh, you know, but there was a context to it, which I think was, you know, I was at a, a fucking racial retreat to try to understand where all this hatred and animosity could come from. But people don't want context, right? They want mm-hmm. cancel it- Kenny versus Fenny. He wore a yep. Klan outfit suit. And I think that that's really important, you know, and I, the other thing is I think people need to be a little tougher, especially with social media, you know, um, and, and some things deserve cancel, you yes, know, but, absolutely. but you know, the, I don't think that does. I think if Kenny or if I wore a Ku Klux Klan outfit, you look at the totality of the show, by the way, I, if, if I was a, a racist or Kenny was a racist or a homophobe, we wouldn't be friends. We wouldn't be doing the show, you know? So I think for comedy in particular, it's, it's kind of depressing. Uh, I know Jerry Seinfeld, who's commonly known as one of the cleanest stand-up comics that ever lived. He hmm. stopped touring Colin, uh, on university Colin, yeah, campuses yeah. because of all that. And, and we've had a bit of it, uh, over the years, uh, you know, I had I was doing sex toy bingo, which had a lot of very, you know, blue jokes and, you know, jokes that were maybe at the expense of, let's say, transgendered people, but very light, like a joke like, uh, you know, uh, how did, uh, you know, John celebrate his uh, sex change operation? Well, he ate, drank, he, he went to eat and drink and be merry, you know, be <laughs> merry, yep. M-A-R-Y. And, and, and you know, that's just so harmless to me. And it's so obvious that I'm, I'm an it's, inclusive person, but yes. the reality is Gavin is, is there are people who hate Jews who will never change. And, and I think that the whole idea of a rule of law is to, you know, is to, if they, if they have the right to think what they think, mm-hmm. I have the right to say, I don't like the way you think. I can't stop them from thinking that way. And if I try to, I'll probably make them worse. Uh, so I, you just have to suck it up. Now, if they go break a law and burn down a synagogue or, you know, or lynch somebody, God forbid, that's breaking the law. Yes. Then they go to prison. Yeah. And I think that's the line. I think it's just that simple that, that we have to tough it up. It's not the direction we're going, it seems. Uh, and I think people have good intentions in, ca- in cancel culture. Uh, but you know, I mean, look at Louis CK, for example, that's- Louis CK has now sort of 
when you think of him, you're thinking of Weinstein and you're thinking of maybe uh, Michael Richards. Well, the, the difference from um, Louis to a, like a Bill Cosby, like you're touching on, is it's incredible. Right. One, one should be canceled. One you should really look at and see what, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, he masturbated in front of uh, women in his hotel room. Yeah. Uh, OK, you know. Yeah. I don't know if I do that, but he did that, and, you know, but for, but then they become equated. It, it's very much if you ever saw a movie called Capturing the Freedmans, which was about a pedophile case and a, a man that was accused of uh, of being a pedophile. And they did home videos during that whole period. And the hysteria, the understandable hysteria around pedophilia is is certainly understandable. But it, it it turns into something that's not rational. That it's it's it 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 becomes its own hysteria. It's like burning the Beatle records, you know, back in the early '60s, you know. And it's not human beings uh, usually their best uh, foot forward, you know, because uh, we're intelligent creatures and and we should be able to discern and and you know make a difference between a Cosby and a Louis C.K or a Kenny and Spenny and uh, a Weinstein or whatever. Yes. But, you know, I think, yeah, if you don't, if you're, if you're offended mm-hmm. and the person hasn't broken any law, don't watch them anymore. That's it. Don't yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can, you can take some time. And if you don't like the comedian on stage, go outside and come back and yeah, people need to tough it up a little. I do agree with you on that. And, and, you know, and I think, and I think I, I'm, I'm from, I'm, I'm a, like a, a end of the road boomer, like the last year of the, of the baby boom. And, you know, I, when I was growing up, I mean, I think I did things when it came to women, of course, nothing terribly malignant that I wouldn't do now. Mm-hmm. And I think that part of growing up and uh, is owning your stuff and not denying it. So, uh, you know, had I it, had I been inappropriate with women, maybe a few times, probably uh, anything that I'm grossly ashamed of. No, but is it something that I'm going to. Uh, pretend didn't happen or whatever. No, I, I think we'll, we're always better as a people when we're, we can talk about things and, and reason with each other rather than just knee jerk react to everything. Yes. Yeah. Like you were saying, intent is what, and then the, you do get knee jerk reactions where um, like the consequences aren't suit like suitable for what the person well, look at did. Don Rickles. There's my, one of my great examples. I mean, Don Rickles, arguably one of my favorite comedians of all time. Yep. And he used to get out on stage and rip everybody, Japanese, blacks, Jews, women. And Milton, my idol, still here, Milton. Wonderful guy. 65 years in the business, huh? 65 years in show business and you don't want to walk away. It's all over, Milton. Grab a cab. <laughs> Fat people. And, you know, I loved it. And I'd be disingenuous to say I love Dice Clay. Yes. Uh, they made me laugh. I didn't get the feeling that they that those people when they were off stage were nasty people. Uh, and that helped me, you know, like them. And and uh, I think people should be given that kind of benefit of the doubt, provided they haven't broken a law. Mm-hmm. There is kind of there's got to be some sort of separation, too, between art and the person. Right. Especially when you're talking about dice or somebody like that's a very interesting very interesting uh, question because you know my great example is the fellow right there with uh, with his naked wife uh john lennon you know the more you read about john lennon um yes. he had some issues yes. you know uh same with jimmy hendrix uh, same with a number of of of, of uh, especially in the rock and roll years the you stones, know yeah, womanizing violence all kinds of stuff and does that you know, make their work any less good or bad? In my opinion, no. Phil Spector is a piece of shit. He was convicted, but he's a great producer. I was listening to, uh, you know, the Ronettes yesterday, the great wall of sound. And what you're talking about is very smart. It's the separating of, uh, I mean, Woody Allen is like maybe one of my all-time heroes. Who knows what he did? There's strong arguments both ways. Uh, at the end of the day, as someone who doesn't know him personally, but likes to watch his movies, read his books, I like Woody Allen. That doesn't mean I'm pro pedophilia, <laughs> you know. It's a, yeah. But that's the that that's the stupidity of this world we live in. It's guilt by association, and I think it's yes, fun, that's a great way of putting it. it it's fu- it's fundamentally 
we just live in an attack culture. Yes. And, and the, and the social media, just nothing could be more perfect because you can yes. be anonymous and be as mean An as you instant, want. Instant. Yes. Yeah. You know, so it's actually, in my opinion, kind of cowardly, but worse than that, it's just, it just doesn't move anybody forward. <laughs>